lows in the upper 20s. Wind south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Thursday. Cloudy. Snow likely in the morning, with snow turning into ice in the afternoon. Temperatures steady around 30. Wind south at 5 to 10 miles per hour in the morning, before shifting west and increasing to 20 to 30 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 80%. 2 to 4 inches of snow expected, along with up to a quarter of an inch of ice. Thursday night. Ice likely, before changing back over to snow by late night. Temperatures steady in the upper 20s. Winds west, shifting south at 40 to 50 miles per hour, gusting up to 70 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 70%. Significant ice accumulation of a half to three quarters inches is possible, with around one to two inches of snow. Christmas. Snow likely. Snow can be heavy at times throughout the day. Temperatures remaining steady in the upper 20s. Wind south at 40 to 50 miles per hour, gusting up to 60 to 70 miles per hour. Chance of snow 70%. 8 to 12 inches of snow expected. Here is the seven-day hazardous weather outlook for northern New Jersey, southeastern New York and southwestern Connecticut. Day 1, today and tonight. No hazardous weather is expected. Day 2 through 7. Saturday through Friday. A significant winter weather event is likely across our coverage area around Christmas time. Some details remain unknown, especially on timing, but heavy snow and the potential for a catastrophic ice event is possible. Ice totals of near an inch, and through the forecast period, 12 to 18 inches of snow is expected. However, the event is expected to last into Thursday as the low pressure system stalls out offshore of New Jersey late Thursday. Some of these details will likely change, however, there is above average confidence of impacts nearly a week out. Spotter Activation Statement Spotter's activation may be needed Wednesday night into Saturday. Here is the seven-day outlook for Western Connecticut. Rest of tonight, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-twenties. Winds north around five miles per hour. Tuesday. Partly sunny. Highs in the mid-forties. Wind calm. Tuesday night. Partly cloudy as skies will become cloudy overnight. Lows in the mid-twenties. Wind calm. Wednesday. Cloudy. Snow and ice likely in the afternoon. Any area that starts as snow should quickly switch over to ice. Temperatures steady just below freezing. Winds west at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 90%. Ice accumulations up to a tenth of an inch. Snow accumulations, if any, will be less than one inch. Wednesday night. Ice. Ice will become heavy overnight. Temperature steady in the upper 20s. Winds west shifting southwest starting at 10 to 15 miles per hour, before rapidly increasing through 40 to 60 miles per hour with gusts up to 70 to 80 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation near 100%. Significant ice accumulations of half to three quarters of an inch possible. Christmas Eve. Heavy ice expected throughout the day. Some areas may change over to heavy snow before nightfall. Temperatures steady around 30. Winds southwest, shifting south at 50 to 70 miles per hour, with gusts up to 100 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 100%. Catastrophic ice accumulation of 1 to 2 inches is expected. Christmas Eve night. Heavy precipitation expected. Any heavy ice should transition over to heavy snow by midnight and will continue throughout the night. Temperatures steadily dropping into the middle 20s. Winds south, shifting west at 60 to 80 miles per hour with gusts up to 100 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation 100%. Additional ice accumulation of 1 quarter to 1 half inch and snow accumulation of 5 to 10 inches possible.
heavier amounts of ice and snow are possible. Christmas. Heavy snow throughout the day. Snowfall rates of 2 to 4 inches per hour are likely. Temperature steady in the mid-20s. Winds west shifting southwest once again at 60 to 80 miles per hour with gusts potentially up to 110 miles per hour. Chance of snow 100%. 16 to 24 inches of snow expected. Locally higher amounts are likely. Christmas night. Heavy snow expected. Snow may become less heavy near the very end of the night. Snowfall rates of 2 to 4 inches per hour are likely. Temperatures remain steady in the mid-20s. Winds southwest shifting south at 70 to 80 miles per hour with gusts up to 110 miles per hour possibly. Chance of snow 100%. Around 2 feet of snow is expected, with the locally higher amounts possible. Saturday. Heavy snow early with snow slowly tapering off to cloudy skies by the very end of the day. Snowfall rates are expected to be 1 to 4 inches per hour in the morning, decreasing to 1 to 2 inches per hour in the afternoon. Temperatures remaining steady in the mid-20s. Wind south shifting east at 70 to 80 miles per hour and slowly decreasing to 30 to 40 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation near 100%. 8 to 12 inches of snow expected with locally higher amounts possible. Saturday night. Cloudy skies will clear to partly cloudy skies overnight. Snow may linger into the night. Lows in the upper teens. Winds east at 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts up to 50 miles per hour. Any additional snow accumulation should be under 1 inch. Storm total accumulations of 5 to 6 feet is likely, potentially even higher. Sunday. Partly sunny skies. Highs in the upper 20s. Winds east at 25 to 35 miles per hour, diminishing to 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here is a public information statement from the National Weather Service, in a collaboration with numerous NWS offices. An unprecedented and historical winter weather event is likely across numerous states in the Northeast. This includes a catastrophic ice storm and a powerful blizzard, which is expected to leave unprecedented amounts of ice and snow. At the current time, precipitation should start as ice with some areas starting as snow before quickly changing over to ice in the highest elevations. Ice is expected to become heavy Wednesday night across our region, and heavy ice will continue into Thursday afternoon. After then, a slow changeover to heavy snow is expected. Heavy snow will continue through Christmas and begin to slowly taper off Saturday. Snow should fully taper off by early Saturday night. After all is said and done, our weather forecasting area is expected to receive 1 to 3 inches of ice and 5 to 6 feet of snow, with locally higher amounts possible. Of course, these amounts could increase or decrease with future forecasts, but if there's anything to be worried about, models have continued to trend upward in accumulations. This, at the least, will result in widespread travel problems for many days, especially post-storm, as storm accumulations could be too much to plow or shovel. We are asking all residents to prepare for what could be the storm of the century, with unprecedented ice and snow totals, and being trapped in your home for many days, possibly even weeks after. Please stay tuned for more information, as winter storm watches will be read out after this message concludes to give out information. Repeating, please prepare for this historical storm, as the window for grabbing supplies is closing as we say. Thank you, and we wish everyone good luck. Winter Storm Watch in effect from 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Wednesday until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday. This is an extremely dangerous situation. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly has issued a Winter Storm Watch, which is in effect from 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Wednesday until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday. This is an extremely dangerous situation. What? Very heavy snow and crippling, devastating ice accumulation. 
total snow accumulations of 5 to 6 feet is likely, with a catastrophic 2 to 4 inches of ice likely. Powerful winds ranging anywhere from 30 to 80 miles per hour, with gusts up to 110 miles per hour are likely. Where? Northwest New Jersey and northeastern Pennsylvania. When? From 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Wednesday until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday. Additional details. An extremely dangerous situation is likely to develop over the next few days. Precipitation should begin as ice and slowly change over to snow Thursday afternoon through Thursday night. Precipitation will begin as ice however midday Wednesday, and snow should begin when changeover from ice occurs. Travel will become completely impossible by Wednesday afternoon as ice accumulations become rapidly more. Even after ice switches over, snow on top of it will make areas completely, completely impossible. Extreme rates of precipitation during the storm will also make the situation much worse than it already could be. A winter storm watch means that there is a potential for significant snow, sleet or ice accumulation that may affect travel. Winter storm watch in effect from 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Wednesday until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Saturday. This is an extremely dangerous situation. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly has issued a winter storm watch, which is in effect from 2 p.m. Eastern Standard. Back on it, I guess you could say that it was funny, but um, hey. in the moment, it was I, it was not that funny. That was your new car, right? Mm -hmm. Daddy bought it. Yeah, and also, he, I I thought he was gonna crash or something, and also I, I think he was just trying. To if I crash a car, I'd buy a new one. Let's be real. No worries. I'm yeah, talking to you, I'm talking to your brother, and you're yeah. interrupting. You're right. Yeah, go <laughs> ahead, Michael. Uh, yeah. Um, that probably. The following message is being transmitted by the request of the Pennsylvania State Police, in conjunction with the New Jersey State Police. A state of emergency has been declared very far ahead of the impacts from a powerful winter system that is expected to bring widespread, catastrophic impacts to eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey, east of a line from State College. Travel is being completely banned from 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday until further notice, most likely when the roads finally clear up. Also, all businesses will be closing at this time too, in order to protect those. The only people allowed to be out are emergency personnel only. Ice accumulations are expected to be a catastrophic 2 to 4 inches, with snow totals of 5 to 6 feet. This is expected to stop travel, or any movement of travel for many days. Residents are being advised to stock up for numerous days and prepare for widespread power outages too that will also last numerous days, likely even weeks too. To repeat, an unprecedented winter storm is expected across the mentioned regions. Prepare now for these life-threatening conditions. Could you give him another talk. chance? Jack, please don't interrupt I'm anymore. Just trying to be nice. Let Dr. Phil speak. You're not being no, nice. I've You're tried several times to give him some advice that I've gotten from having consulted with several <clears throat> uh, internet influencers that are 10 times the size that he is on the right. internet. And universally, they gave me the same advice to pass on to him, but he wants to interrupt and argue. Uh, so, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him float on his back. So I'm done here. Jack, so how can we...
catastrophic two to four inches of ice likely. Powerful winds ranging anywhere from 30 to 80 miles per hour, with gusts up to 110 miles per hour are likely. Where? Northwest New Jersey and northeastern Pennsylvania. When? From 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Wednesday until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday. Additional details. An extremely dangerous situation is likely to develop over the next few days. Precipitation should begin as ice and slowly change over to snow. Unprecedented winter storm expected across portions of our listening area for multiple days. Winter storm warning now in effect. This is an extremely dangerous situation. Winter storm warning now in effect from 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Wednesday until 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday. This is an extremely dangerous situation. What? Extremely heavy snow and catastrophic, widespread ice accumulations. Total ice accumulations of 3 to 6 inches, with 5 and 1 half to 6 and 1 half feet of snow expected, with locally higher amounts possible. Powerful winds ranging from 30 to 80 miles per hour, with gusts approaching 110 miles per hour is expected. Where? Northwestern New Jersey and northeastern Pennsylvania. When? From 1 p.m. tomorrow until 9 p.m. Saturday. Additional details. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Widespread heavy snow and ice will make travel completely impossible by late Wednesday. This will result in widespread, if not, complete loss of power to the mentioned areas for many weeks. Precipitation should begin as ice and slowly change over to snow Thursday afternoon through Thursday night. Precipitation will begin as ice however midday Wednesday, and snow should begin when changeover from ice occurs. Residents are being asked to prepare for an unprecedented winter storm, potentially one from the history books. A winter storm warning means significant amounts of snow, sleet and ice will make travel very hazardous or impossible. Strong winds are also expected. Eventually, a blizzard warning may be issued when precipitation fully switches over to snow due to the powerful winds expected or the winter storm warning will be replaced with an ice storm and blizzard warning tomorrow afternoon. Unprecedented winter storm expected across portions of our listening area for multiple days. Winter storm warning now in effect. This is an extremely dangerous situation. Winter storm warning now in effect from 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Wednesday until 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday. This is an extremely dangerous situation. Timing. Precipitation is expected to start mid-afternoon Wednesday either as ice to snow. hazards and impacts, this is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. As this storm is expected to bring widespread catastrophic impacts, travel will become completely impossible for many days, including post-storm. Special weather statement for the entire coverage area. Heavy precipitation is beginning to develop and move into the listening area. At 12.41 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, radar indicated a heavy band of ice with some snow at higher elevations was developing and moving into the listening area. This band is heavier than anticipated, and slightly higher ice accumulations are possible in the areas where the heavy ice band settles. All of the other current short-term details remain the same. If you are still traveling, you should arrive home as soon as possible, as ice accumulation of any amount can make roads slippery and treacherous. If you are out on the road still, drive with caution, even if it requires you to be late. Your life is much more important than anything else. Here are the 12 p.m. observations across eastern Pennsylvania. At the Lehigh Valley International Airport, the temperature was 29 degrees. The dew point
92.7 WRNJ here. An unprecedented winter storm is almost underway here. Per radar, freezing rain is beginning to fall in portions of eastern Pennsylvania and is continuing to build eastward. Multiple heavy bands of ice are seeming to be occurring, which is honestly bad news, as this could worsen the already 3 to 6 inches of ice we could get. Obviously, we decided to hunker out here at the station with all of our supplies, as we believe it was for the better. We will try to broadcast throughout the storm, but well, 3 to 6 inches of ice likely, then 5 to 6 feet of snow on top of it, it's likely gonna get difficult honestly. Just a worst case scenario here is expected. We'll give you more details on the forecast after this song here on WRNJ. as soon as possible, as ice accumulation of any amount can make roads slippery and treacherous. If you are out on the road still, drive with caution, even if it requires you to be late. Catastrophic and unprecedented winter storm in progress. Catastrophic ice and snow accumulations expected with widespread disruption of travel expected. Winter storm warning is cancelled. Ice storm warning and blizzard warning now in effect. The ice storm warning is now in effect from now until 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Thursday. Blizzard warning is in effect from 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Thursday until 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday. These are both extremely dangerous situation warnings. What? Extremely heavy snow and crippling, catastrophic ice accumulations. Total ice accumulations of 5 to 8 inches, with locally higher amounts up to a horrifying 10 inches in Warren and Hunterdon counties in the lowest elevations. Total snow accumulations of 5 and 1 half to 6 and 1 half feet are expected, with locally higher amounts up to 7 feet possible in the higher elevations where ice changes over to snow first. Where? Northwestern New Jersey and northeastern Pennsylvania. When? For the ice storm warning. Now until 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Thursday. For the blizzard warning 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Thursday until 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday. Additional details. This is an extremely dangerous and emergency situation. Unprecedented and catastrophic ice and snow accumulations will make travel completely impossible for several days to potentially weeks. Ice has already begun across the warning area and will continue until... Thursday evening, as a slow transition over to snow occurs. Unprecedented ice and snow accumulations will result in widespread, if not complete loss of power to numerous cities or counties across the warning area. This is a worst case scenario. If you are not prepared, you have extremely limited time to prepare now. <coughs> Catastrophic and unprecedented winter storm in progress. Catastrophic ice and snow accumulations expected with widespread disruption of travel expected. Winter storm warning is cancelled. Ice storm warning and blizzard warning now in effect. The ice storm warning is now in effect from now until 10 p.m. Eastern. Catastrophic ice accumulations. Total ice accumulations of 5 to 8 inches, with locally higher amounts possible in the lowest elevations. Total snow accumulations of 4 and 1 half to 5 and 1 half feet are expected, with locally higher amounts up to 6 feet possible in the higher elevations where ice changes over to snow.
following message is being transmitted by the request of the Pennsylvania State Police. This is an update on the ongoing winter storm. As of 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, traveling on back roads and most main roads have become extremely dangerous to impossible, as ice accumulations ranging from one quarter to two thirds of an inch have already occurred. Scattered power outages have already been reported across portions of central and eastern Pennsylvania, and this number is expected to rapidly rise overnight. Also, numerous people have suddenly begun to feel sick near the city of Harrisburg due to an unknown reason. So far, early reports seem to hear that nuclear materials may be leaking from the Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station. Although it is not confirmed, it is advised that all residents within a 20 miles radius of the Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station do not go outside and to stay inside until it can be discovered what is causing people to randomly become sick. For now, stay tuned for more information on this developing situation. The following message is being transmitted by the request of the Pennsylvania State Police. This is an update on the ongoing winter storm. As of 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, traveling on back roads and most main roads have become extremely dangerous to impossible, as ice accumulations ranging from one quarter to two thirds of an At 11 p.m., heavy ice was reported. The temperature was 29 degrees. Special weather statement from the National Weather Service in New York. At 10.56 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, radar from Mount Holly and Long Island indicated that the heaviest of ice is beginning to move into our coverage area and will spread through our coverage area within an hour. This is expected to be the halt of all traffic for several days or weeks. If you are currently Somehow, on the road, you have very limited time to get home or to a building. Do not, I repeat, do not park on the road, as you will end up getting trapped under heavy ice and snow for several days. Repeating, heavy ice is about to move into our coverage area. If you are on the ro roads, finish your trip quickly but safely. Danger warning. The following message is being transmitted by the request of the governments of New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Power outages across the mentioned states are rapidly increasing as ice becomes heavy. A widespread three quarters to one and one quarters inch of ice has fallen, with local amounts up to two inches being reported. Travel has been deemed impossible as roads are extremely treacherous with ice. It is now too late to go out. You are being asked to stay home, or you will be putting your life in extreme danger. Also, reports of potential nuclear leaks from the Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, the Indian Point Energy Center in Buchanan, New York and the Salem Nuclear Power Plant in Elsinboro, New Jersey. Areas nearby have reported numerous residents sick with radiation-like symptoms, and some deaths have occurred as of now. Checks continue to be underway. But it can't be determined if these are from the plants themselves, or something else is going on. For now, residents within a 20-mile radius of the mentioned nuclear power plants should shelter in place. You should already have all supplies ready due to the severity of the storm, but you should move to the most interior part of your house with no exterior walls, windows or doors going to the outside. Everyone should stay tuned for more information on this extremely dangerous and rapidly developing situation. Special weather statement from the National Weather Service in New York. At 10.56 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, radar from Mount Holly and Long Island indicated that the heaviest of ice is beginning to move into our coverage area and will spread through our coverage area within an hour. 
This is expected to be the halt of all traffic for several days or weeks. If you are currently, somehow, on the road, Here is the current highest reports of ice accumulations. 1.5 inches, 3 miles NW of Sparta, New Jersey at 12.45 a.m. 1.4 inches, 4 miles WNW of Allentown, Pennsylvania at 12.06 a.m. 1.4 inches, East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania at 11.42 p.m. 1.35 inches. Danger warning update. The following message is being transmitted by the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Stand by for a message from the representative of FEMA. Hello to the people of the Northeast, and an early good morning to all. It isn't the best morning, especially with the storm, but we will be relaying this update regarding the ongoing storm. The most important thing at this time is that at 3. 54 M Eastern Standard Time, it has been confirmed that the Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station, the Indian Point Energy Center, and the Salem Nuclear Power Plant have been leaking nuclear materials for the past 10 to 12 hours. The cause of these leaks to occur currently remains unknown, however, it is currently not possible to fix these. Due to this, the shelter-in-place radius is being extended to 30 miles in order to prepare for more radiation leaks. Workers that remained at these nuclear power plants have also concluded that if the leaks can't be taken care of, it could result in a meltdown at all the nuclear power plants. While this seems unlikely, it is best that residents prepare for the worst-case scenario. All residents within the 100-mile radius of any of the mentioned plants should stay tuned and listen for later statements and warnings. Now, regarding the storm. Heavy precipitation continues to fall, mainly in the form of ice. Radar estimates that 1-2 inches of ice have fallen since about midnight, with locally higher amounts. With the heaviest of ice now occurring, power outages are being increasingly common and widespread. Widespread tree and power line damage have also been reported, and report numbers have been rising over the past few hours, but at a slow rate, likely because it's nighttime. I expect a rapid rise of cases in the morning regarding tree and power line damage, along with more ice reports. Our current highest report was at 2.17 a.m., where 2.25 inches of ice had fallen. Another widespread 4-6 inches of ice is expected today, with locally higher amounts possible. Snow will slowly change over from ice starting later this afternoon into tonight from east to west and from the highest to the lowest elevation. With catastrophic amounts of ice and snow, numerous roof failures are expected to occur. If this happens, please call 911 and they will save your report. Emergency responders, once they can travel, will go to places first that have sustained the worst structural damage since heat will be limited. Residents are being asked to continue to stay tuned for the latest information on NOAA weather radio, as most radio and TV stations across the impacted areas are down and most importantly, Stay safe and stay calm during this historical time. Good morning, Northwest New Jersey. We are on for our daytime shift here on WRNJ. We've been playing music for the past few hours as we try to sleep, but the precipitation outside. God, it has been icing hard for hours on end. We have managed to keep a path clear enough so we can still check and clean our transmitter. I believe we are one of the few stations left on the air. I also think OE is still on the air, but we haven't had contact with them since last night. 
We also have the emergency alert system activate overnight, which we can confirm it went through. We don't have any news now. All we have is tips from southwestern New Jersey that the Salem nuclear power plant is on the brink of melting down as more radiation is escaping the plant. Once again, these are just tweets and calls we're getting, so nothing can be confirmed. We have no other news for now, so while we wait, we will continue to play music. weather statement. At 10.59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, radar continued to indicate heavy ice continuing to fall across the statement area. Three to seven inches of ice has fallen so far, and an additional two to four inches of ice is likely, with the higher amounts in the most eastern and lowest elevations. Power loss to entire towns had been reported, with an estimated 75% of residents living in New Jersey having lost power. Heavy ice will continue for multiple hours until cold air punches in from the west and slowly drifts east. During this time, outside conditions could become extremely dangerous just to walk on. Also, some of the falling precipitation might contain radiation due to severe leaks occurring at multiple nuclear power plants. Therefore, residents should continue to stay indoors and not go outside unless it is safe to do so. Repeating, heavy ice potentially contaminated with radiation, continues to fall. Stay indoors until it is safe to go outside.
If you cannot get to a secure shelter due to the ongoing storm, find the most interior place in your home and make a barricade to protect yourself. This message will be updated every few hours with new information. If there is no new information in those few hours, the message you just heard will be replaced and will mention no new updates. For now, stay tuned for more information on this extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. All residents within a 100 miles radius of dimension plants should shelter in place immediately. Do not attempt to evacuate, as it is entirely impossible to travel right now due to the ongoing storm. Also, because of the ongoing situation, and the lack of emergency crews able to respond at all. Northwestern New Jersey and Northeastern Pennsylvania. When? 
from now until 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturday. Additional details. This is an extremely dangerous and emergency situation. Unprecedented and catastrophic snow accumulations will make travel completely impossible for several days to potentially weeks. Unprecedented snow accumulations will result in widespread, if not complete loss of power to numerous cities or counties across the warning area. There is no time to prepare. In combination with nuclear materials in the air, you are strongly advised to not go outside at all. If you are not prepared for the storm, you have no way to prepare now. You should just hunker down now and hope for the best. You know, I'm going, to be honest here, I don't know how much longer we will remain on the air, this snow on top of the ice is just way too much for our building and transmitter to take. We're only a few hours into the snow and this is just horrible, I can't imagine what it will be like once this is all said and done. There's going to be damages in the billions at the rate we are going, that's not even including the ongoing situation with the nuclear power plants. I expect an update soon. But from the news we've received, a double worst case scenario could be happening right now. This whole event screams catastrophic and unprecedented. Speaking of that update, here it is. Stand by for a nuclear power plant warning update. Well, that was a not so good update. Increased chance of these planks exploding and we're not even to the heaviest of snow. This is really, 
really bad. But for now, we will play some more music until more information is received. God, honestly, I, I can't sleep. All this news, it, it's just too much to deal with. I just want it to be Christmas morning and see my presents. But for now, I'm just going to grab myself some water so I can hopefully sleep for once. That's a mushroom cloud. I'm getting my parents. They have to be awake after that. Thank you. 
When going outside, please wear a mask that will protect you from nuclear materials, as these plants have already been leaking materials for almost a day now and it's possible these materials are in the clouds and will fall to the ground eventually. When sheltering in place, make sure to have food, water, clothing, a battery-powered radio with the extra batteries and medical supplies to last upwards of two to three weeks. If you cannot get to a secure shelter due to the ongoing storm, find the most interior place in your home and make a barricade to protect yourself. This message will be updated every few hours with new information. If there is no new information in those few hours, the message you just heard will be replaced and will mention no new updates. For now, stay tuned for more information on this extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation.
extremely heavy snowfall rates are beginning to move into our coverage area. At 9.14 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, radar indicated that even heavier snowfall rates of 3 to 4 inches per hour were moving into our coverage area. This extremely heavy snowfall rate, wherever it stays the longest, is where the biggest storm total accumulations. The current line of snow is expected to expand before moving out with a low later tonight. By that point, however, the band will be so widespread, snow will gradually decrease in inches per hour into tomorrow morning. This snow also could contain traces of nuclear materials from the nuclear power plants that have exploded. The impacts expected from snow falling with radiation is completely unknown. Because of this, residents should stay inside, if possible. Residents are being asked, whether it's important or not, to not go outside, as any sort of travel along with radiation levels being high and basically no visibility, going outside could result in serious injury or death. Repeating, even heavier snowfall rates than ongoing are about to move into our coverage area. Do not go outside, as this could be your last decision. Civil danger warning for New Jersey. The following message is being transmitted by the request of the New Jersey State Police. Widespread, unprecedented damage is occurring due to an extremely powerful winter storm. Almost all residents have lost power, with reports of significant structural damage due to heavy accumulations along with strong winds, with gusts nearing major hurricane force wind gusts. The worst hit areas currently are northern New Jersey and southwestern New Jersey, where the Salem nuclear power plant exploded overnight, resulting in a full release of nuclear materials. Northern New Jersey has had widespread ice totals ranging from 6 to 8 inches, with locally higher amounts up to 10 inches of ice. Snow totals so far are estimated to be 1 to 2 feet, with locally higher amounts possible. Several more feet of snow is expected before the storm and Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. Because of this, additional widespread structural damage is expected, mostly of roofs, trees and power lines due to heavy weight being put on them. This is expected to lead to even more power outages and total power loss to the entire state for numerous days is possible. Due to this, the state of emergency in effect will expire once official word is given out that the situation is over. Do not go outside after the storm end, as high levels of radiation are being reported across the state due to nuclear explosions at nuclear power plants in southern New Jersey, eastern Pennsylvania, and southeastern New York that occurred earlier today. Stay tuned for more information on this unprecedented and catastrophic situation. at the latest update on the highest snow reports from our National Weather Service coverage area. Alamuchi, New Jersey. 26 inches at 11.42 a.m. Washington, New Jersey. 24.5 inches at 11.29 a.m. Hope, New Jersey. 24.5 inches at 11.14 a.m. East Stroudsburg, PA. 24 inches at 11.27 a.m. Bath, Pennsylvania, 23.5 inches at 11.39. Civil danger warning in effect. This replaces the nuclear power plant warning that was in effect. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. 
there is catastrophic damage for areas within a 25-mile radius of the former Three Mile Island Nuclear Generating Station, the Indian Point Energy Center and the Salem Nuclear Power Plant. These plants disturbingly exploded overnight, which resulted in nearby areas being suffering damage compared to an EF-5 tornado. Cities such as Pickhill, Harrisburg, Salem and others have been decimated to near nothing, as radiation levels continue to rise. Any building that wasn't swept away was flattened, and people are likely trapped in these buildings. Due to the storm, emergency crews can't get out right now, and it might be a few days before emergency officials can get out there. If you are somehow live and hearing this message within the 25 miles, do not attempt to leave where you are, as you will just likely just be met with the treacherous outdoor conditions. If your supplies did not get destroyed, and they are reachable, grab them, and stay at your location. Residents not within the mentioned radius but remains within the 250 mile radius should remain in shelter. Along with the ongoing situation, communication is about to be lost to portions of numerous stations, due to a combination of radiation and complete power outages in entire areas. This could limit information for several days. If this occurs, you are advised to stay at your location until communications can return to your area. Stay tuned for more information on this extremely dangerous situation. Civil danger warning in effect. This replaces the nuclear power plant warning that was in effect. The following message is being transmitted.